we talk about kinetics and kinematics, we need to take a step back to understand the term biomechanics. Biomechanics is the study of mechanics applied to biological systems. Therefore, human biomechanics is the branch of science that studies human movements, its causes and effects. Biomechanics can be divided into two areas, kinematics and kinetics. Kinematics focuses on motion, including velocity, acceleration, displacement, and time, without considering the forces necessary to produce the motion. For example, if we look at someone jumping, kinematics gives us the movement information, such as how fast the person jumped, how high, how far, and how long they stayed in the air. It also relates to other specifics about the person's movement, such as how much the person bent their knees, feet, and arms. Kinetics in physics is the study of the relationship between motion and its causes. In biomechanics, kinetics helps to explain the causes of human motion by studying forces and other movement-related variables. For example, kinetics can tell us how much effort it took to jump to a certain height, the force applied for the jump, and torques involved. These factors would help to understand how far and high the person jumped. Also, the direction and distance of a jump can be determined by the direction and intensity of the force one applies to the ground. These are related to the ground reaction forces, which will be explained in another video. In short, kinetics is the study of the forces that cause a movement, and kinematics is the study of the metrics of that movement. Now, putting it all together, imagine an Olympic long jump. The athlete needs to run, jump, and position themselves in the air to land with their foot in front and achieve the maximum distance. So, the athletes need to push themselves with a certain force and direction, kinetics, and then position their bodies in the air to land as far away as possible, kinematics. Kinetics and kinematics help us to objectively evaluate any person's movement, which makes it possible to improve their performance. This can be useful not only for athletes, but also clinical patients or any human looking to improve how their body moves through space in their daily life.